Okay, first graders, so uh, before we move on into a new curriculum, uh, Go Math, we want to make sure that we review um, some of the skills that uh, we had when we were still going to Ariel. So I just want to read this word problem, and then I want to use uh, Math Mountains and Counting On. So two different strategies to solve the problem. Autumn read four books. Olivia read seven books. How many books did the girls read all together? So we know that a math mountain looks like a triangle without the bottom part. Top part is for the total, and two parts on the bottom. Are for the two parts that give us a total. So right now we have Autumn read four books and Olivia read seven books. How many books did the girls read all together? So we don't have the total, but we have the two parts. We have four and we have seven. Which one do we put first? Um, I always tell my students to put the bigger number first. So we're gonna put Olivia seven. That's one part and Autumn read four. That's another part. So part plus part equals total. Seven, so I'm going to draw seven small circles so they fit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We want it on a five group. And then we have one, four. One, two, three, four. So I always choose to do the greater number first because it's easy to just, I always just hit it. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And it's easy for me to just count on. And if you're a little bit confused, it's okay to just count all, all the circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So that's one way. And then we can look at the problem again. Autumn read four books. Olivia read seven books. How many books did the girls read all together? So we did the math mountain. Now I wanna do the counting on. So I think which girl has read the most? And again, it's gonna be Olivia. So I put seven here. Because that's my greater part. And how many did Autumn read? Four. So seven. And then I put four. One, two, three, four. Then I count them. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. The answer is eleven books. So on the bottom, it's always gonna stay label. So it's gonna have a space for the answer, and then it will have a line. So you always write the answer. The answer's the number that, that was unknown that we didn't know. So 11, and what were we looking for? We wanted to know how many books they read. So we write books. And we want to make sure we add an S because it's more than one. So it's plural. 11 books. Ta-da! Two ways to solve that math problem. We can use math mountains and we can count on.